Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can make this shirt that has repeatedly memes on it with a pattern like polka dot. In this specific tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do it with a Demi Lovato meme. But if you want, it can be any meme you like. To do this, you'll need transfer paper and a color printer, light color t-shirt, scissors, a pillowcase and an iron, and finally a ruler. Okay, let's get started. Start by printing your desired meme onto your fabric transfer paper, following the instructions on your paper. For mine, I printed the pattern repeatedly. Each piece was about 5 centimeters long, and before repeating all the image, I mirror one of them and then copy and paste the rest. Doing this in Word is so much easier. The one I use is in the description below. Do not use an ironing board to do this. Instead, place a pillowcase into a hard flat surface to work there. Also, before starting, make sure that your shirt is washed. Even if it's new, wash it. Then iron the shirt to get rid of any wrinkles. I cut my design with a small pair of scissors one by one. This is a time consuming process guys, so take your time with it and make sure there's no white spaces between the images, because it will show at the end. I totally recommend you to read the instructions on your paper. Since there are many different brands, it's hard to tell if they will be the same instructions. Here are mine in case you have the same product as me. Now to start on the design, I place a piece of the meme on each corner. Then with a the ruler, I measure the middle of the shirt and place another image on the middle. Then from the right corner to the middle piece, I found the middle of this distance and placed another picture. And I repeated this on the other side. I know it sounds confusing, so this is basically what I did. Before ironing, make sure your pieces are placed properly and then start ironing following the instructions on your package. For mine, I had to iron for 15 seconds on top of the design on a cotton setting and focusing on the corners to seal the design in, then letting it cool. My package also said if you want a glossy finish, you'll have to let it cool completely and if you want a matte finish, peel after 15 seconds. I wanted a matte finish, so I started peeling off after 15 seconds. However, since this is a really small design, the design was not sticking, so instead of peeling the whole thing, I put the paper back to the shirt and I decided I was going to iron the top again and letting it design fully cool, making my images glossy. While I let cool the first row, I did the second row with a space approximately 5 inches between them. But instead of having tight pieces like the first row, there are 4 pieces like so, placed on the middle where the design was not on the first row, and ironed the second row. Okay, so I made this graphic to show you what I'm doing to make it a little bit more easy for you to understand. So the red circles is where I placed the first row with 5 pieces, and the blue that only has 4 pieces, with a space of 5 inches between the rows. This is how I decided to have it, but you can have more or less space between the rows. I did one row at a time, ironing and letting it cool while I work on the next one. Now, you've noticed that the row that is close to the color could only fit two pieces and are not complete. In this part, I cut the design to appear like show in the graphic. I also omitted the sleeves and the back, but if you want, you can totally do them as well following the same graphic, but on the back. <laughs> Once you iron everything, you can start the most satisfying part Fill in the pictures. If one of your pieces does not stick properly, as I said earlier, just place the paper back into the shirt and ironing for a few seconds again and then letting it cool completely. And you are finished! Hope you like this video guys, if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and if you are, thank you so very much. Comment down below if you have any requests, you can also follow me on all my social medias that will be listed down below and I'll see you in the next video guys, bye bye and thank you for watching. You can touch me with